here at Whiskey Live 2022. There's a pretty good turnout. The host of this year's event took us over to his booth and shared about his company, Meet Nate. He's the founder of Beverage and the host for this year's Whiskey Live event. Beverage curates spirits and helps to make it easier to find spirits fit for you. Bardstown had a very impressive booth with a look ahead at some upcoming special releases. Barrel Bourbon had their range of product and a special pick that was just for the event. Victor's had a full lineup and I was finally able to taste single barrel and barrel strength side by side. This has got to be your, your barrel strength and I like that better. Yeah. It's just that profile is just that much more intense. The Elijah Craig brand had their full standard collection of bottles. There's so many different vendors here. How would you know that we need to try this whiskey made in bear country? Triple oak age. I mean, it sounds gimmicky. I mean, that was smooth. It was soft. The, the oak was very present, but not overbearing. Westland from the Northwest was a new brand I've never tried before. It was pretty good. The award for best looking bottle goes to Boulder Spirits. Amazing. Five Trails was founded by one of the Coors family lineage. While we were there, Alistar Brogan, founder of Boulder Spirits, stopped by and we got to see him taste Five Trails. It's more of a bourbon yeah. than it is, but yeah. it's got that, when you taste ours, it's got 44 multi barley in it. If there's a little bit of a lean towards that kind of that it's, be over yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say it, but it's the easier process. It's been David, David Gore's personal dream for over 20 years, and we're just happy to be a part of it. Balcones was very good, and I'll be looking for this brimstone in stores for sure. They've got an Irish whiskey, and they've got two blends. One's the American bourbon, and then their 10-year that we just tried, which is their Irish whiskey. Phenomenal. As the day was coming to a close, Brandon stopped back by the Michter's booth to see if they'd sell him one of their open bottles, and of course he was given the rest of the barrel strength bottle. I hate you, Brandon. <laughs>